So I've done one of these videos earlier, um, and I'm going to do another one today. It's basically a mix of different um, wild mink that have been captured on film by various people across YouTube. So like I mentioned earlier, the first time I did this, I found some videos that I thought were pretty interesting, but had very few views. And just like the videos I showed earlier and put a compilation together about, I'm going to do another one today. Um, I'm actually on vacation right now in uh, Central America, and so I've got a little extra time. And I haven't really been putting out very many mink videos lately, just, just due to the fact that I've been so busy and um, haven't had the, the help from uh, Maggie that I usually have had. So we're just going to put together an interesting compilation of different wild mink. Now, like I mentioned, all of these videos I'm showing you today, they're not uh, my own videos. They were put together by other people. And so we'll see at the beginning of each video uh, a description of the name of the video and who uh, actually filmed it. And you'll also see down in the description a link to each video so you could actually uh, go and watch the original video yourself if you'd like to. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, it should be educational and interesting to see actual wild mink hunting in nature. This exciting footage was captured just outside of Malmö, Sweden. Watching such a small and innocent looking mammal attempting to prey on such a large and intimidating bird is quite the impressive sight. It is a sight I have seen several times since I first started hunting with mink, but I have yet to capture it on film. In this instance, the swan was able to successfully defend itself from the mink, but I have seen many other circumstances when the mink was able to successfully overcome a large bird like this one. It's not made clear by the maker of this video how much of the struggle was actually captured on film. But based off of what I've seen, I can very confidently say that the vast majority of the conflict was not shown here. Especially when you look at the large wound left on the back of this swan's neck. It takes a considerable time for a small mink to chew such a large hole in a bird this size. Recently, my young mink Fang was able to overpower a very large 13.2 pound African goose. But unfortunately, all I have to show you is this blurry picture. Here we see a very determined mink trying to drag to shore a pike that is several times larger than itself. For those of you who don't know what a pike is and are just saying to yourself, what's the big deal? It's just an oversized fish. We'll take a look at this. This is what the inside of a pike's mouth looks like. I've actually had several people ask me if I worry about pike swallowing my mink. I always tell them, well, I've never heard of it happening, but I'm sure it's possible. However, on the other side, I have heard many stories about mink killing some surprisingly large pike. Since we're on the topic of exceptionally large fish captured by mink, we can't forget to leave out this video. This video was filmed by a family at Lake Tahoe, California. They were feeding some very large brown trout when all of a sudden this mink came out and attacked one. The most amazing part of this video to me isn't necessarily the size of the fish, but how determined the mink was to capture it. It had to be extremely exhausting diving underwater for as long as it did and struggling with such a large fish. But the mink kept going, trying to capture the fish, regardless of how impossible it seemed for the mink to actually have success. Don't get me wrong, the size of this fish was very impressive, but what's even more impressive to me was the extreme effort put forth by the mink to capture this beast. Though the video ends here, according to the person who filmed it, the mink did go home with a giant fish dinner.
This is what looks to me to be a fox squirrel getting a drink from a river. Just a little ways upstream is a mink traveling the shore looking for something to eat. Little does he know he has a very pleasant surprise ahead of him. What a lucky catch. I mean seriously, what are the chances that mink would just be strolling along just as that squirrel was getting a drink? Man, that was that mink's lucky day. Please disregard the inaccurate title to this video, as it is in fact a ground squirrel being chased by this female mink, not a gopher. Oh my god. <laughs> He's coming right at us. <laughs> this is yet another scene I've seen several times with my own mink, but I have yet to actually capture on film. Watching a mink chase a squirrel across the open like this is a thrilling event, but can be quite tricky to actually capture on film in the heat of the moment. This is yet another mistitled video of a mink attacking two bald eagles at the Vancouver Zoo. The action in this video happened far too quickly to be appreciated at regular speed. You'll be amazed to see the detail we missed when the videos replayed in slow motion. The interesting thing about this mink's attempt to kill these eagles is usually it goes the other way around. Eagles have been known to kill and eat wild mink, but in this situation the eagles are trapped in a cage giving the mink the opportunity to possibly kill them. In reality these eagles would have been dead had this attack occurred at night. With this attack playing out in the day, either predator could have very easily ended up dead.